afternoon, everybody. Today's date, 1-5-2020. I have a monthly chart on that S&P 500 index. Key focus, earnings season 2020, market volatility is coming back. And you are going to have to deal with it. Okay, earnings preview. We're going into the earnings preview. Option market are going to change in 2020. They're going to be still in premium, out of strike prices, calls, put side. It doesn't matter. And you're going to be caught off guard. And you are. And, and people are going to get killed because they're going to inflate the option premium, sell it to you, and then they're going to drop like a rock. And that the bull market headed into 2020 is already at the highs going into the earnings season. So let me just tell you, it's expected to report a decline in earnings of 1.5% for the fourth quarter, which is likely the index will report an actual decline in earnings of 1.5% for the quarter. And we are telling our option traders that the options markets are changing in 2020. Retail option traders are going to get killed this year. They steal the premium, they inflate the prices, then drop them on your asses, period. Join us in 2020. Based on the average change in earnings growth due to companies reporting positive earnings surprises, it is likely the index will report growth for Q4. When companies in the S&P 500 report actual earnings above estimates during an earnings season, the overall earnings growth rate of the index increases because of the higher actual EPS numbers replace the lower estimated EPS numbers in the calculation of the growth rate. For example, if a company is projected to report EPS of $1.05 compared to a year ago EPS of $1, the company is uh, projected to report earnings growth of 5%. So, that, but let us just tell you this. Over the past five years, on average, actual earnings reported by the S&P 500 companies have exceeded estimates by 4.9% during the same period. 72% of the companies in the S&P 500 uh, have reported actual EPS uh, above the mean EPS estimate on average. As a result, from the quarter through the end of the earnings season, the earnings season growth rate has typically increased by 36 uh, percent uh, points on average over the past five years due to the number of magnitude of positive earnings surprises. If this average increases, it is applied to the estimate earnings decline at the end of Q4, December 31, of negative 1.5 percent was the actual earnings growth rate for the quarter, uh, would be 2.1 uh, percent. So if you take minus 1.5% plus 3.0%, it equals 2.1%, no matter how you look at it. What I'm telling people is that the volatility is coming. Where current prices on individual stocks are at are fully priced above any good actual earnings release reports. We are overbought. We're going to have that correction. We've been staying overbought for the last couple of weeks. We're in the new year. Everything changes. And believe me, it does. We'll post all the live videos and all the trades that we do with all of our positions during the earnings season. We are on our 11th year on YouTube. We are the biggest with 11,100 subscribers. You're watching the video because things haven't worked out for you. We have many, many, many programs for you to get involved with. However, some people have to lose all their money and then put more money in and say, oh, I better go call that guy. Well, you can avoid that today. You don't have to go down that road, and you don't. So the earnings season at current levels in this bull market run and the bigger earnings, you know, we'll have a few of them that are going to start, but it's going to be later in the middle of the month, toward the end of the month, and we're going to have the big ones that come out, and then we're going to have the February uh, reporting session. We'll have another um, big inflow uh, reports that we'll be doing live. Stay tuned with the channel. We're overbought. been telling you that. This is a monthly chart, and option trading 
is going to change. It's changing now, and it's going to change for the full year, and they're going to steal the premium from option traders, and you're going to get caught in it. Please listen to me. I'm giving you a warning. So this uh, particular uh, is the S&P 500 monthly chart, which is still overbought. It started its pullback right now. We had that bull run in 19. It was about a 90-day bull run. We're overbought on the monthly charts once again. We're at high expectations. The expectations are very, very high. And if those expectations are not met, you're going to see that big price volatility in these individual stocks. And you are. I promise you that. And I will have it live. And you will see it. And you should pay attention to it. Because if you don't, you're going to be a victim to it. And, you know, the thing about it is, listen, we've been around forever. And we tell you these things before they're going to happen. And whatever your skill or whatever your retail mindset is, that's what you own because that's all you know. If you knew more, you wouldn't be here watching the video. And you want to make changes in 2020? You're at the right place. You owe that to yourself. Do not get caught up in the volatility that's coming. Save yourself the pain. Let us direct you. If you don't, you will be coming back. And you will. And we're giving you the warning now. It's kickoff, man. Earnings season 2020. And this week, uh, next week, we'll have all of the major banks coming out. We'll be posting the earnings that will be coming out. We'll be posting, you know, how we did it, how we made the money on it, and how you can do it too. Right here, right now, today. S&P 500 index is overbought. We're priced to perfection going into the quarterly season. These markets with these individual stocks within the S&P, there's 11 sectors. There are big ones that need to come down to create buying opportunities for another bull run. But the market volatility has to shake out the bull. And there has to be bigger reversal volatility and there will still be the upside volatility. But nonetheless, the volatility increases big time. Earnings season kickoff, earnings preview, um, an update on how the option markets are changing in 2020. You have no clue. You don't come from there. We're market makers in the pit, in these exchanges. I do everything with our trading staff via online and updating all of our traders in our network around the world take advantage of what we're telling you now and get involved we're here take the next step don't hold back i'm going to conclude the video and once again be careful beware and we do care about people like you that are watching this video whether you're a hedge fund manager or a small-time trader, investor with options trading, it doesn't matter what size or what level it is or how much money you have. What is important is that you're making money and you can take advantage of the volatility. That's what we do. We take advantage of that volatility and the price moves that are coming in individual equities and these indexes. Remember, the index doesn't move unless it's the key leadership stocks within the indexes that have big pullbacks to create new buying opportunities. Shake the bull out. Bull markets are not a one-way ticket. Bull markets have high volatility. It's returning. This is January 2020. Good luck to you. And once again, stay tuned. We do care about you. The video is longer than it normally would be.